meeting we certainly are going to talk about better diagnosis be it uh, for uh, traditional tools like MRI and PET CT scan, uh, smarter biopsy techniques, tissue diagnosis, molecular markers, set, uh, circulating tumor cells and so on and then we're talking about management of early disease, when to operate and when not to operate and which technology is really the one that's going to bring you the best outcomes and certainly identifying those molecularly and biologically aggressive diseases that need more than just a single monotherapy. We also going to cover, uh, we did cover the advanced disease spectrum with a lot of new drugs, beating kidney cancer, new combinations that are highly exciting, are reading incredible results, and what their applicability for the individual urologist is and the individual medical oncologist, how to work with other specialties to translate that knowledge in prostate cancer and bladder cancer to a tangible benefit for the patient, not only in survival but also in quality of life. That's what we're trying to serve and share that experience in discussions, debates, and further on. I will be talking about treatment, surgical treatment of locally advanced prostate cancer. Uh, I think it's quite interesting because there's a lot of recent research uh, that has looked into what is the optimal local treatment, a definitive treatment for these locally advanced prostate cancer. Uh, some data has emerged uh, for radiation therapy, but I will be talking about ongoing clinical trials involving surgery for locally advanced or oligometastatic prostate cancer. I'm going to be talking about small renal masses, kidney cancer situated uh, within small lesions and we're going to uh, try figuring out if a biopsy is necessary, if it can help better treat these patients. My topic today was robotic radical cystectomy. It is the robotic treatment of muscle invasive bladder cancer. It is minimally invasive surgery. We no longer make incisions in the abdomen of patients, but just tiny holes. And with the advances of the technology with the robot Da Vinci, we are able to remove the bladder and reconstruct it using bowel. Patients stay in the hospital less the blood loss is less and so I think that there are good advantages compared to open surgery. I've been invited to this meeting by Shorok uh, to give uh, a, or to share my personal experience uh, which I gathered in, uh, in Montreal in 2005 uh, by getting to know uh, one of my greatest influences for my personal career, Pierre Karakiewicz, and uh, so I'm here to, uh, to have a laud laudatio on, on, on him and his personality. Well, it's the first time we're getting to this meeting here. Uh, it's good to meet all these professors, uh, to gather around. This year is a special year because we're honoring uh, Dr. Pierre Karakiewicz, who is a mentor of uh, many professor, fellows, and actually uh, Dr. Sharia has been a mentor. So it's a gathering of knowledge, of uh, friendship, and uh, you know, of, uh, also of, of this community you know, of uh, oncologists who are into research. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with my colleague. I think, first of all, we are listening to many great lectures about advanced uh, kidney cancer, uh, about bladder cancer, and then we'll hear about prostate, many big professors, many big presenters, and it's great to meet our mentors and you know meet all these colleagues and friends. I'm talking about a new technique to treat the prostate cancer. It's called the precision prostatectomy. Uh, it's a new technique that we started in our institution. It seemed to have much better uh, functional outcomes than the conventional technique uh, specifically for the sexual function recovery. I'm 
talking about local therapy in metastatic prostate cancer patients. Whether they benefit if we remove the primary even though we know that they have systemic disease. And we know from other malignancies, for example ovarian cancer, colorectal cancer, that patients might benefit and that it can improve prognosis. However, for prostate cancer, it's not a new strategy, but since the last year we did not have any randomized controlled trials proven the benefit so there is a lot of change going on right now. Well I'm presenting about prostate cancer uh, specifically the role of PSMA PET imaging in prostate cancer. This is uh, an evolving uh, uh, field for, for urologists since we have this technique which is able to localize the disease, the metastasis from prostate cancer uh, with a single examination. This technology is opening new fields for improving our therapy to patients uh, since we, we are now able to localize this very small recurrences of disease and the, the world of, for this patient is changing thanks to this uh, technology.